Yup, we mixing it up, boys. So right before uh, Buff spawns, let's go ahead and check out his new animations. Plays the guitar. He points. Oh, I like that one. That's actually got like mad BM potential. You. You are going to feed. You. You gank my lane. Here's my control one. The little guy on my shoulder jumps. Well, that's pretty good too. And then here's my laugh. So there's our animations. Uh, we're going to be going for an E max because as support, we're going to be maxing the thing that allows us to CC. So let's check this out, boys. Is it viable? Let's find out if Mordekaiser rework is now a support. Guys, don't try this at home. Definitely don't try it in your promos. Mord support actually works. Oh, we've got the uh, we've got the enemy supports approval. Ooh, wait, that hook is actually like nasty. I'm I, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not sure what's going on with my health bar. I'm not sure what that circle was. Uh, Darkness rise after three basic attacks. Mordekaiser deals max health per damage around and gives five percent movement speed. Okay, so that's like how I kite people down. That's how I run people down. We're learning on the fly here. Dude, that hook is actually nasty. Missed that one. Oh, 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 wait a second, dude. His animations are sick. Wait a second. That's That feels so powerful. Holy... Oh, we almost got... Wait, wait, wait. Can we get the... So close. So close to getting kills here. So close. Dude, this thing just like... This vortex just follows me around. Sick. Nice to not have to worry about mana cost as well. Right there. Right there, baby. Right there. Oh, my lord. Mordekaiser support, fellas. Okay, my W... Stores 30% of all damage, indestructible, grants him the shield, and maybe cast. So th so I want to take a bunch of damage and then use my W, as I understand it. Alright, we're going to upgrade this, grab that. So we're going to be playing him kind of as like as like an AP bruisery support, a disruptor catch support. That hook is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. Uh, going to be maxing the hook. And my W, I believe, I can just use as like in-lane in sustain. His E is the best hook in the game so far. It actually might be, dude. Like, look how fast that comes out. And it jerks them really, really close to the close close to you. It jerks them super close to your face. Alright, team. Yo, yeah, yeah, we're fighting, we're fighting. Get over here, buddy. Get over here, buddy. Alright. Yo, that W is huge. And then I reactivate it to gain that shield as health. This is actually nasty. Okay, so... Yeah. The cooldown actually knocks off... Uh... Woo! We got her! We got her, boys! The, the uh, maxing E actually knocks off the cooldown, so I'm pretty sure that maxing E is going to be the way to go when you uh, play Mordekaiser support. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. And then just W to heal that up. So he's got, like, some remnants of old Mordekaiser still built into him. Kind of like the, uh... I mean, I've never played old Mordekaiser, but I know that... He would take a bunch of damage and then heal a bunch of damage for seemingly unknown reasons. Uh, so, so far, I like this Mordekaiser's design more. His animations, like, feel top-notch. Like, you really feel powerful when you use your Q. So I can't wait to actually use the, the, uh, the R. And here's the thing about Mordekaiser's support, is that when you think about it, his R, since I'm support and on a support budget, I may not be able to uh, actually 1v1 people. But I can at least just straight up CC them for 7 seconds. His R lasts 7 seconds. So if I can just like flash CC someone for seven seconds, like 
regardless of if I won win the 1v1, that's quite a lot of lockdown. Oh, I got a bat. I got bad bad feeling about this one, boys. We just have to try to fight it. She got the reset. She should be able to 1v1 her there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. There you go. There you go. There you go. You got this. You got this. You got this, Jinx. You got this. She's taking minions. There you go. There you go. She's rooted. Hey, let's go, boys. All right. So I am going to be going Merc Treads and let's get an Amp Tome. Let's build like a Banshee's Veil. I think that would probably be good. So I'm going to hover over the passive and abilities for anyone that hasn't. This is their first uh, Mordekaiser gameplay and you want to know exactly what he does. So you can read it at your own leisure. This this Q, I really like this Q. That's the big, big smashy smash. W is going to take some getting used to. Uh, and then the E is obviously like super, super fun. Cannot wait until I can uh, level 6 R someone. Okay. Hmm. Get the hook, get the hook. Get him, 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 get him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Beautiful. Start taking this turret. I want this plate. Oh, close. There's a little bit of prediction built into his uh, his E, just because there's a delay. But hey, do I, if if I are this person, do the turrets disappear? Oh nope, you still take turret aggro. Yeah, didn't know that. Did not realize that. My fault, my fault. I thought I could turret dive with that. We'll get him next time, fellas. Jinx is probably like, where in the balls did they go? Wow, not that long of a uh, an ultimate cooldown, actually. Does Aoki get the metal reference the ability names? Obliterate, Indestructible, Death Scraps, and Realm of Death? No. Is that those like metal band songs or something? Get over here, buddy. What are you what are you doing on our side of the map? You goober! You goober! Come here! Come here! Oh! It feels so good! Okay, so the good good information here. The Q does not only hit where it looks at, like it hits. It also hits this entire area. It, it's not just the head that hits. Alright, we're going to try out our ganks, boys. Okay, I think our best bet is to probably just keep bullying this Thresh. He, he seems to uh, be underestimating how metal I truly am. Ooh, he dodged it. Hey! Get off my chica! Let's take this and... Let's take this, take this. Oh, so close, so close. Just take the turret, take the turret. Take the turret, take the turret, take the turret. Alright. So, remember, we don't want to challenge them to a 1v1 anywhere near their turret. So let's go group, and then let's try to find some unique uses for our ultimate. Because like I said earlier, guys, it's 7 seconds of CC. So in like a team fight, I can just ult their most fed person, and even if I don't kill them, like... They've been out of the fight for seven seconds. Man. Imagine if we could hit anything. Ooh, look at all these.
these plates are about to get. Yum. I like that, dude. I like that ability. It's like a big... It's like a spoon. Draining, I'm draining, I'm draining. Bye bye. Okay, okay, okay. So it's probably gonna be LeBlanc that I try to, uh. Oh! Bye bye. Double kill? It's probably gonna be LeBlanc that I have to, uh, CC with my ulti. Which is kind of a bummer because I'm pretty sure I can't kill it. Oh! She's just hiding under a turret, man. Ah, oh, the turrets are such a bummer to this. I'm on a rampage, boys. I'm on a rampage. I got 3k, 3k gold to spend. I mean, it would be totally broken. Like, if I didn't take turret damage. If they, like, didn't exist in the death realm. But, that is kind of a, a buzz kill. Alright, let's go for probably proto belt next. Swap this bad boy out. So, so far, I'm, I'm beating Thresh. In my support goals. I got Psy Stone before him. Yeah, the ult, as my Twitch chat is saying, it's definitely something that, like, could actually end up harming your team. Like, let's say I, I ult the wrong person and deny Jinx a reset, so we lose the fight. Uh, it's kind of like Bard ult in that case. Like, it's one of the very few ults that could actually, like, actively harm your team. Got him with just the tip. Ooh. All right, I'm just going to heal that up. Ah, mm. oh, I didn't get it. Oh, lordy. Okay, 15 seconds till my ulti. Team is entirely dead. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, okay, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find that Thresh. I'm gonna flash ult him. Come here! Alright, so now I've got the stats of Thresh. Let's check this out. So now I should have like 10% of his stats added onto mine. So I'm tankier, got more AP, got more AD, everything. Very nice, very nice. I've got my hook on a 10 second cooldown. And I've only got 10% CDR, so this actually gets like pretty low. What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, I'm gonna try to stop taking CS now. I like that W mechanic, though. Like, I'm sure with a little more practice, like, I could actually be getting, like, a lot smarter Ws off. Like, absorbing damage and... And then popping it at the right moment to get health, but... It's also nice to just, like, literally press W and then get a lot of health back. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, we... We got clowned on there. Let's not... Let's not let that happen again. My bad, fellas. We got a 0, 4, 0 jungler. Hell yeah. So what do you guys think? Tell me down in the comments. Do you think this is actually going to be a real support? I mean, he does. the hook is really nice. It's got a very long cooldown. I don't ever see Mordekaiser being like a top tier support. But, I mean, maybe it could work every now and then. It's just one of those like cheese lanes, you know what I mean? Really what he brings to the table in terms of support is kill pressure, the hook, uh, and the ultimate being used as like CC essentially.
Five seconds on my hook. I think we can run this guy down. Maybe get a hook off. Oop, got him. Alright. Ah. Try I tried to get my ulti off on LeBlanc. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, Rexai, 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 Rexai. Come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come one be one me. Bye bye. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. You know what, Wolf? You are the new god of 1v1s. I thought it was Mordekaiser, but it's actually the large wolf. Is more tanky like Thresh? Uh, not just like straight up tanky, but like combination of like lifesteal uh, and his W shield and... You know, his, his, his forms of sustaining himself in combat, like he's kind of tanky. Also, the fact that you'll probably be building him uh, bruisery. Oh! Okay. Tr Tristata has given up on life, I, I expect. I assume. Is that the new pin to sk uh, No! The only skin I wanted to try out, the only skin I really liked was Dragon Knight, and it was unavailable in the PvE. It's a legacy skin that you can't buy for some reason. Alright, Thresh. Me and you, buddy. I missed everything. I missed literally everything. Dang it. Okay. Okay, once I'm on top of him, though, like, it's pretty impossible for him to get out. Got the sick drain going on me. Ah! LeBlanc, please! I've got five seconds on my proto belt. Ah, no, please! I just want to kill you! Is that so bad? Is that so wrong? My W, get that shield. Oh, wait, what? That's interesting. You, it's kind of like Pike Q, where you can throw them behind you. Did you guys see that? I think it. I don't know if I misread that or what, but it looked like you, you could actually, like, grasp people into, like, behind you, like, throw them, throw them into your team. I just got CC'd to... Well, I, I'm in the sky. They actually sent me to heaven. Did you guys see that? Get him! Oh, baby. Alright, let's go for probably a spirit visage. Spirit visage? Spirit visage? I don't know how to pronounce it. Spirit Visage. Okay. Now we run it down, boys. Now I'm strong. In a situation like that last team fight, I should have, like, ulted Thresh. Just so I get out of trouble, you know? Let's 5v5. Let's 5v5. I'm super fed. Jinx is super, super fed. It's Visage, not Visage. Okay. <laughs> 9v5, we have a Mord. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Alright, there's no, like, animation cancels with him, which is kind of lame. That I know of. 
if you're watching this in 2022 and Mordekaiser's been out for three years and everyone knows all his animation cancels, I'm sorry, this is literally the very first, like, second he's been out. I'm sorry if I've misrepresented Mordekaiser to all future viewers. Come on, man! Ah! <gasps> what the heck? Okay, so I didn't realize that you lose vision in the death realm if there's a wall between you. I actually had to flash over the wall. So that that was, uh, we're learning, guys. We're learning. That thrush just bamboozled me, man. His ult looks tricky. Oh, his ult definitely has like a huge, huge uh, learning curve. I'm, I'm going to tell you that right now. Like, learning when to use it is going to be the difference between like good Mordekaisers and bad Mordekaisers. Obviously, so far, I'm a bad Mordekaiser outside of lane. Let's run this down, boys. Yeah, when, when and who to use it on is going to be like very key. But hey, you guys can use this video. I've basically done all the bad alts, so I've shown you when to not use it. Oh baby. Alright, alright, Thresh. We do we doing this again, bud. Woo, there we go, boys. There we go. Alright, his E is a little tricky too. You need to like kind of aim it ahead of where you think they're going to go. Why are you ulting Thresh? Tanky, dude. I want to be tank. He's also going to... Mordekaiser is actually going to like scale differently than other champions. Because if you read his ultimate, I keep these stats until Thresh respawns. So as the death timers go get longer, like his ultimate is going to like scale in usefulness. So like, let's say I get a kill to start a team fight off, and they've got a 50 second, you know, death timer. Man, this Thresh is too clean, bro. He's too clean. They're all too clean. All right, my thoughts on this champ. I'm sure top laners and junglers and whatever other crazy stuff they come up with it is going to love it. He's, for for 99.99% of the population, old Mordekaiser just wasn't a champion. So, the reality is, this is basically a brand new champion. It's kind of like Aatrox, where he's not really much of anything, much anything like the old Aatrox, or the, yeah, the old Aatrox. This is like basically a brand new champion. And I think people are going to like this one. Mostly because people are going to understand this one more than they understood the last one. He's got a decent amount of similarities in theme and in like his W. But outside of that, it's not really the same at all. Alright. Let's run this down. Let's run it down faster than Tristana does. I right, got my ulti. I'm going to try to get off a good ulti. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on. There we go. Ah. Alright, that wasn't that wasn't a bad ulti. I kept LeBlanc out of a fight. And we ended up killing her. Yo ye! There's important things happening, bud. Alright, let's uh let's group five. What's funny is that like Nico's like, oh that thresh hook, but I have no idea what she's talking about because I was in the death room. So what's funny is that like Mordekaisers are gonna lack like context of what happened while they were ulting. 
like they're not they're not gonna know what summoners were used or like if they if their team won the fight immediately or you had a ye. Uh, he, he was there sometimes. I mean it's PB, ah, it's oh, PB yeah. fight, so Death Realm in 2K19 lol. Right. Arctic Fox, thank you for the 13 months. Let's get some Myoki Gasms in the chat. Oh, rip. Oh ye, ye! He's showing up! Ooh! Oh, we just barely missed the cutoff, though. We didn't get the stats. Hey, nice, nice, nice. Alright, let's, let's, let's end it off that. Let's, let's run it down mid, boys. <laughs> ah, we know, Tristana. You went mental boom a long time ago. PBE players, dude. Alright, don't get hooked under turret. <laughs> Yo, Jinx, what are you doing, brother? Sister. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? This guy's farming bot, she's farming Baron. She says because I can. Fair enough. Oh my gosh, you actually almost got it stolen. Alright, run it down guys, run it down. I'll make a catch. Almost, almost. <laughs> These guys. Alright, I'm gonna ult LeBlanc just so she can't one-shot my ADC. Yes! We finally did a good Mordekaiser ulti! Oh, I'm, I'm tanky too. Ah, son of a gun, man. Oh, uh, now it's just Yi left. This dude, this dude refuses to end the game, man. This is, this is the problem with PvE, dude. Nobody wants the game to end. Let's group for Yi. I feel like that was my first really good ulti, though. I, I got the hang of it by the end of the game. I kept LeBlanc out of the fight. I killed her. It was cool because I took her into Death Room like right as she like used her combo or tried to on Jinx. So like she was basically fighting me with no spells up. Alright, I'm gonna go Elixir. Let's run this down. Five mid, dude, five mid. Let's go, boys. This is it. The final showdown. I promise the final showdown isn't with blue buff or gromp. Please come. Hey, there we go. There we go. <gasps> He's coming. He's coming, boys. Alright, LeBlanc. Let's see what you got. See what you got, girl. <laughs> Wait, I think she just flashed. Dude, are you kidding me? We lost this fight. 
Are you serious? Wait, wait, Jinx, you got this, you got this. Gatlin gun, Gatlin gun. Oh, oh, the 1v5, it's coming. On the block, on the block, on the block. <gasps> Jinx with the 1v5! Can she do it? Can she do it? Wukong's gonna zone her, man. Walk it in with the minions, walk it in with the minions. Hey, there we go. There we go. Guys, this has been the world's first and potentially final game of Mordekaiser support. We played him on the PvE. Let me know what you guys think about the rework down in the comments. Take it easy, fellas. Peace.